Hi, welcome to my project Vasa.com. And the process is time series classification with COPE, the collective of transformation based time symbols. Let's we see the abstract. Recently, two ideas have been explored that lead to more accurate algorithms for time series classification. First, it has been shown that the simplest way to gain improvement on TSC problems is to transform into an alternative data space where discriminatory features are more easily detected. Second, it was demonstrated that with a single data representation, improved accuracy can be achieved through simple and simple schemes. We combine these two principles to test the hypothesis that forming a collective of n symbols of classifiers on different data transformations improves the accuracy of time series classification. The collective contains classifiers constructed in the time, frequency, change and chapter transformation domains. Through extensive experimentation on dataset, we demonstrate that a simple collective formed by including all classifiers in one ensemble is significantly more accurate than any of its components and any other previously published TAC algorithms. Let's we see the flow of the process. The data representation provides the information about stored data in the dataset. Then the data transformation process improves the accuracy of time series classification and it helps to separate the data representation from the classification. On the transform the data, normalization process is applied. Uh, the normalized, uh, normalization identifies the objects and the relationship among the objects. Then the normalized data is restored in the data in the database. Then the classification process is applied. There are uh, three different uh, classification processes uh, handled here. One is DTW, FBL, and code. The DTW classification uh, finds the minimum part by providing the nonlinear alignments and the FBL classification makes the classification decision based on the value of linear combination of the characteristics and the code classification uh, provides accuracy and it achieves the accuracy in a simple ensemble scheme. Among this classification, the classification result shows which is the best classification method. Let's visit the demo of our process. Click on those button and choose the data set. Store the location. Click OK and click on load button to load the data set values into the database to view that click view button. This is the data set item values and it contains 5 rows and 130 columns with attribute here, place, person, male and female. Click next. The data transformation process, apply the transformation technique to transform the da data set into two tables uh, such as transformation 1 and 2. Transformation 1 contains the table details here, place and persons as attribute and the transformation 2 contains here, place, male and female attributes. Click next. This is the data classification process which contains the classification type, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 5. Here you can choose any one of the type and the click on go button. It will fetch the classification value for the type 1 process. To get the classification result, click on get button. And click next. This is the DTW classification for transformation 1. Choose the initial point and the end point values. Choose any place. Click get button. It will fetch the DTW result for the chosen initial and the end point with place which this utilizes the DTW formula as a Manhattan formula and uh, fetches the val final value and click next this is the transformation and classification result for the year 2010 11 10 to 11 and the place Punjab then click next this is the DTW classification for transformation 2 Choose the initial point, end point, the place, and it, it, it computes the value for a specific gender type. Here I am choosing male as, then click get button, it will fetch the final value for the DTW result. And click next. 
This is the evaluation graph for the data table classification on transformation tool. Then next, FBL. This is the FBL classification model. Uh, it uh, computes the FBL calculation like a uh, DTW transformation and click end initial point and the end point values. Choose any one of the place and click the male or female attribute. Click get. It fetches the final value for the chosen values by using the FBL formula. Then click next. This is the classification valuation process. Then click next. This is the code classification model which utilizes an assembling process. By clicking on new transformation 1, it fetches the information of the transformation table 1 with, with the attributes here, trees and persons. And click on ensemble transformation 1. The ensembles are generated. Ensemble 1, 2 and 3. Ensemble 1 contains series 2010, 11 and 12. Ensemble 2 contains 2011, 12 and 13. And the ensemble 3 contains 2012, 13 and 14. And click next. Choose ensemble 1 value and the corresponding ensemble series is fetched here. Choose any one of the place and click browse button to fetch as the ensemble data for the chosen details then click on compute button it will compute the average ensemble value likewise we have to calculate for ensemble 2 and the ensemble 3 click next this is the code classification on transformation and evaluation graph for the chosen place along with the ensemble series then click next here we are computing uh, transformation to code processing. Choose the ensemble series with the place value, and uh, additionally we we will uh, fetch the code calculation for a specific gender type. Click compute result. It will fetch the corresponding result for the ensemble series one. Likewise, ensemble series two, and uh, then for uh, like uh, ensemble 3 series then we can uh, compute the uh, overall valuation for the transformation 2 process and the by this the execution process is over thanks for listening